15 free Photoshop alternatives. We all know that Photoshop can become very expensive. So if you're looking for some free alternatives, you can use for designing and editing. I've got you covered. Let's go. Hi guys, welcome to my channel where I teach you how to make money online fast and easy. In today's video, I'll be giving you the top 15 free Photoshop alternatives you can use for designing, editing, social media, and more. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm going to be doing a countdown from 15 to number 1, my absolute favorite Photoshop alternative tool that I use regularly for editing. So if you'd like to know what that tool is, definitely stick around to the end. So the 15th Photoshop alternative is GIMP. GIMP is a very popular design editing tool. You can use GIMP to edit files, create designs, and more. GIMP is available for Linux, OS X, and Windows operating systems. Our next Photoshop alternative, the 14th choice is toolpick.com. So toolpick is similar to Photoshop with its features and is very great for photo editing. You can use it on your desktop you don't need to download it to your computer. They say it can replace traditional Photoshop. It has Photo Express basic interface. It has a mobile editor version as well as online photo editing. So Toolpick is great if you want to do photo editing and it's also available in Windows, Mac OS, Linux. It's also available in Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. You can use the various formats PSD, JPEG, PNG, GIF, PDF, EPS. The 18th Photoshop alternative is designer.com. Designer with a Y, not an I. Designer is more of a social media editing platform. You can use it to create posters, social media graphics, and you can post it directly to your social media pages like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. And what's nice about it is that you can use it directly on your desktop as well as you have a mobile app version available for iOS and Android. Designer is free, but it has a premium version, which is priced at 99 per month. Our next Photoshop alternative is Pablo. When I first heard about Pablo, the first thing that came to mind is Pablo Escobar. <laughs> I know that's a digression, but it's just what happened. So Pablo is not Pablo Escobar, the drug dealer, but it's pablo.bufa.com if you want to get to it. Like designer, Pablo is also more of a social media editing platform where you can create social media content and post to your social media pages like Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And you should take note that Pablo is not optimized to make designs for print on demand. It's specifically made for editing social media content. It's available on your browser as well as as a Google Chrome extension. And the files are only available in PNG. Our 11th tool of choice, Photoshop alternative tool of choice, is Paint.net. So Paint.net is used for everything. By everything, I mean social media, 
content creation, print on demand, design creation. So the disadvantage with pin.net is that it's available only for Windows. As you can see, I'm on a Mac. That's why I can show you how it looks. But it's available in PNGs, JPEG, GIF, TGA, TIFF, and HEIC. That's H E I C. So if you're using Windows, you want to give this a try. It's a very impressive photo editing tool. Our next tool of choice, the tenth, is Insta size. From the name Insta, you already might already know what it is to use for. So Insta just like designer and Pablo is more of a social media content creation tool. You can use it to create marketing, social media content, photo editing, as well as video editing. So the disadvantage is that it's available just as an app, so it can be used only with your phone, available both for Android and iOS. And you can use it in the various file formats, PNG, JPEG, MOV, MP4, HEV, HEVC, and HI, and HEIF. A ninth Photoshop alternative is Photo Pose Pro. According to them, they are the best photo editor. You'll, you'll want to try it to determine if they are the best because I've used others which are also great. So Photo Post Pro has features just like Photoshop. I mean, in the way it is, it looks. Photo Post Pro can be used any design you want. You can use it for print on demand as well as create social media posts. It's available for Windows and Mac. Photo Post Pro is available in JPEG, BMP, PSD, GIF, and RAW. That's R O A W. Our eighth Photoshop alternative is Inkscape. Inkscape is very popular. You might have used this to edit some of your designs. You can use it to create any design of your choice as well as create any file size of your choice. Inkscape also has access to vectors such as curves, lines, shapes, and more. You can also resize the designs to any size that you want. These group of print on demand platforms that require several different print on demand sizes. Inkscape is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And the various file formats that can be used with Inkscape are PDF, e EPS, SVG, PNG, Pixlr. I'm not sure if that's how it's called. Is it Pixlr or Pixlr? Let me know in the comment section below. For now, I'm just going to call it Pixlr. Pixlr is more of social media content creation tool. And photo editing too. You can also create print on demand designs with it and it's available in your browser. Various file formats that are available are JPEG, PNG, BMP and TIFF, Sumo Paint. Sumo Paint can also be used for social media content creation as well as photo editing. You can use it on your browser and like he says, it's a the best photo editing drawing tool online. So it's online, it can be used in the browser. It's also available as a Chrome extension. You can use it. The various file formats is available is JPEG, BMP, PSD, and GIF. A fifth tool of choice is Krita. Krita is another popular design tool. 
you can use it for any type of photo editing and some people say it's difficult to use try using it first and determine if it's difficult to use or not it's available in windows mac os linux file formats available png psd jpeg a photo tool of choice is fire alpaca if you love alpacas i'm sure you definitely love this design software what i really like about fire alpaca is a 3d tool that allows you to create 3d objects real looking objects and it's also very easy to use so you should definitely give it a try it's available in mac and windows and also available as jpeg png and mdp a third tool of choice is Photopia. Photopia is one of the closest Photoshop alternative. It actually looks like Photoshop if you've used Photoshop before. And let me know in the comment section below is it called Photopia or Photopea? I hear people calling it Photopea, but I think it's called Photopia. Let me know in the comment section below what you think it should be called Photopia or Photopea. I use Photopia when I want to edit PSD templates for the t-shirt PSD templates I get from Vexels. They're actually scalable t-shirt PSDs. Just come to Discover, go to PSD t-shirt and you'll be brought to this page. I'm not a very good graphic designer so I like the fact that Vexels has given us the opportunity to edit designs that they have already made. By using a tool such as Photopea, I can be able to create unique designs in just a matter of less than a minute. I just change the color, change the words, and change images. And in a matter of seconds, I'm back with a new design, unique design. So it's very easy to use if you haven't tried using this PSD t-shirt designs before you should definitely do there's a link in the description click it and learn more about it a second photoshop alternative is canva canva is a very popular design tool i mostly use canva when i want to create my youtube thumbnails it's a very great design tool if you're into social media marketing canva is also great for that it has tools just go to create design there are several templates that you can use here here's instagram post it's a template for animated social media so there's a whole lot of options that you can choose from if you're confused just keep scrolling you'll see more t-shirt designs are also available so there are various templates that you can use with Canva. The only disadvantage with Canva for print on demand is that Canva doesn't give you a transparent design. You have to pay for the Canva Pro which is $12.95 per month before you have a transparent background design. But in spite of that, Canva is great and it's one of my go-to tools whenever I need to to do some editing. So my number one tool of choice, give me a drum roll please, is Zazzle. So if you've been watching my content, you will notice that I talk a lot about designing with Zazzle. I find Zazzle to be very easy to use. So if you want to go to design tool, just go to create, go to start new design and you'll be brought to a plain tool like this. And unlike Canva, Zazzle has a transparent background, which is free. You don't need to pay for anything. Just go to background and you can switch between a transparent background or a colored background. So if I'm designing, I mostly start my design on a color background mostly black because I like optimizing my designs for dark t-shirts and when I'm done editing or done creating my design 
I use I change it to a transparent background and then download it so before I download it I always like to change it to my recommended size which is 4500 by 5400 pixels which is matched by Amazon's t-shirt dimensions so if you want to learn how to use Zazzle to do your t-shirt designs I have several videos on my channel that you will want to watch in order to know how I do it so just come to the playlist section of my channel and go to print on demand niche research I do weekly print on demand niche research I also then end with creating a new design from scratch if you like to learn how I use Zazzle to create the print on demand design from scratch you want to watch this playlist so which was your favorite tool of choice favorite Photoshop tool of choice let me know in the comment section below so that was it for this video if you found it helpful definitely give the video a thumbs up and if you'd like to learn more about print on demand KDP, this is the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you'll be the first to be notified when I release a new video. With that being said, see you on the next one.